Alright guys, so first step is going to be nice like highlight effect on the render uh, for the wrapper headers. So let me open my pack, which you can buy in the description, I will leave a link. Um, we go for Lil Baby, I got a nice render of him here, right? So I'll drag him like that. And it's really nice effect, it's not like highlights on the like outside of the render, so like when the render ends, but it's like... Um, highlights on the actual render like on the face and the arms and shit so we get here exposure we create clipping mask and we raise an exposure just like that and we control we click control and i and we just just get the slice anywhere we want it like gives a really nice effect it's like the render is not so dark when we do that it's a really nice effect and we are going to do the same with like dark colors so we so we go here go exposure and raise up a gamma correction a bit and exposure like that and just just put the slides in some places like that as you can see Maybe you could put it here too. Here. Here, it really get, gives a nice effect to the render. So just like that. Here also. Maybe here. You just add it where, where you see the shadows. So it really gives a nice effect to the shadows. They're not so stiff. So just like that. And as you can see, it looks way better look here and now you see it looks way better uh, all right and now we can go for the second tip all right guys and the second tip is going to be quality of the render so we are going to hold shift at the last and the first layer of the render convert to smart object and of course first of all we go to to a camera row, so control shift and a Mm, all right, and we go first of all we go for detail and we raise up a sharpening a bit like 90 and noise reduction we can make it like 40 and then we go to basic and we make clarity pop out even more and texture all right it's cool it's cool you see the quality is is way better now right um, and after we've done that, if you want to make quality even better, we go to filter, sharpen and smart sharpen, and we can mess around with the with the settings a bit. So maybe like, yeah, it looks nice actually, 120. It looks cool, all right. And as you can see, it looks way sharpened because many people have been asking me when i was posting on twitter how i make quality of the header and just and the render is so good so yeah i just go to camera row. then if quality is not that good i go to sharpen and smart sharpen uh, and yeah that's all i do all right so let's go for the third tip guys and next tip is going to be custom 3d text but i'm not going to show you how to make custom 3d text in this video so um you just have to stay tuned i will i will make a video soon about how to make th custom 3d text so yeah stay tuned i will i will make it go to it and i hope you will enjoy it so yeah it, it, it's going to probably drop like in some days or in like a week or two so yeah stay tuned all right guys and uh, next tip is going to be nice eye effect so there like um maybe you've seen on my uh, headers if you follow my twitter and uh, i did like uh, like glowy eyes effect right so all right so let me just uh, make a layer i will show you how to do it maybe you can get like like purple color like that and we just get this color and we where where the eye is we are just drawing uh the set the, like the eye but with the color you see like that it looks it looks very nice like that and at the uh, at the second eye also so just like that as you can see all 
All right. And also we can add it here. All right. Just like that. We have to try and make it in like a good shape. So just like that. Maybe we can make it like bigger a bit. So this way. All right. All right, I think it's nice. I think it's cool. All right, so now we create another layer. We get the same color and we make this kind of lights and we go into and make it a uh, color. Now copy the layer and make it Lanyard Dutch. And just like that. So as you can see, it's a really nice effect on the eyes. I really like that. I don't do it every time, but sometimes where uh, where I see the nice render and I think the them is would be cool with these eyes. Uh, so I add them uh, and yeah. Now let's go to the next tip. All right, guys, and next tip is going to be um, like um, flow of the header and places that you should be uh, placing your text and renders uh, at. So what I always do is first I add renders. So let me get another uh, little baby render, some good one. For example, we can we can add this one actually. So we can add it here. For example, like that, and uh, we can make a space between these two a bit and put them like in the middle. And I always add renders first, and after that I add the text. And I always, I almost always add the text in the middle because I think it looks the best that way. So let me put this text, for example, and I will put it here, so in the middle. And after I put the text, I see how the renders are looking, and I rotate them them a bit if it's if it's uh, if I have to do that to make the to make the like flop of the header look good. You know what I mean? So yeah, I always do that. So uh, because I I have seen many people that are placing like texts in some weird places like that, for example, and then put the renders like I don't know like that, and it's weird. Actually, you have to. You have to feel the flow of the header and you have to place your renders and your text in the nice places because it really it loses the flow if your text is like in some weird place so when you do the text on this kind of header you have to put it i mean you don't have you don't have to but it would be good if you put it like in the middle so you see you can get these lines here so you can see where the middle is so just like that, and you see, like the text is in the is like in the middle, right? So it's really important. And where, when are you doing like um, when you want to put it in a different place, not in the middle? You can put it maybe like here, but but you have to like it has to be in the middle, but in some like different position, if you know what I mean. As you can see, like that. And now we also have to rotate the render in this way. And then fill the background, like also add the renders maybe here. After that, maybe add, add the render here, maybe transform the flip horizontal like that. You know what I mean? So it's really important to like, you have to feel the flow of the header. You have to put the renders and the text in the nice places. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's really important and it will really help you uh, improving your wrapper headers if you want to do that. Uh, and yeah, now we can go to the next tip. All right, guys, and for the last tip, I'm going to show you uh, how I make effects for 3D text. I mean, I've I've done a lot of tutorials how to make 3D text on like wrapper headers, cartoon headers, or anime headers, but I want to implement it here because actually my style have been evolved a bit uh, from the time I did the uh, wrapper tutorial. All right, so let me delete this text and let me drag it again, but with the but with the 2D part also, so you can see like that. And how to make this text? As I said, I will make uh, I will make a tutorial how to make like custom custom 
uh, type of text, th 3D text of course, but I don't know exactly when I will do it. I think it's gonna be like not in days, but in like weeks. So yeah, but so yeah, just just stay tuned. I will make it. All right, so we can make the text a bit bigger. So just like that, we can put it here. All right, and actually we can make it like purple color. So so let me have this one. I will I will just make it purple for for now. So as you can see, like that. And now we can actually first we can do the two, 3D part actually. Uh, all right, so let me let me get maybe like like orange color, like that. All right, it's cool, it's cool. And after we've done that, we can create a layer. We can create clipping mask, and we can get lasso tool, and we can make some nice shape going on the 3D tags like that. So as you can see, we can make it here yeah, purple. So convert to smart object. Mm, and we can make it color, so just like that, as you can see. Maybe like a bit, a bit higher, like that. All right, it's nice. It's cool. It's cool. Now we convert to smart object. Uh, we copy the layer. We can go to filter gallery, and actually, filter gallery really helps you with improving your text. Because I I see many people like don't know how to make text on your headers and shit, but you, like just use fields of gallery. It like there is bunch of different effects that you can use, and it's really good. So yeah, just just you use filter gallery. It really helps. All right, and we can choose a nice effect that will fit this render actually this header. I mean this text. Uh, I don't know if this one would be nice. I think it's cool. I think it's cool actually. We can add it. All right, it's nice. It's nice. Why not? All right, and, and now we can create a layer, create a clipping mask, and get a nice dark color, and just just do it like that. All right, it's cool. And maybe we can we can less the opacity a bit. All right, it's nice. It's nice. Maybe we can erase it a bit here. All right, it's cool. It's cool. Now we can convert to smart object. Go to th go to uh, blending options and get inner glow and make it like overlay like that. And now we can go with inner shadow also. Make it minus ninety, and we will get a nice white color and overlay. Right, just like that. Yeah, so it really gives a nice effect to the to the text. And now we go to to the part. Uh, so we can create a new layer and we can make the color orange this time and we will just erase some of the letters in some places so we will have two two colors right on the text so we can do it here do it here and just like that you really have to feel the flow right Here and we can delete it here too. All right, I think it's nice. And now we uh, convert this to the smart object. And now uh, we get bevel and emboss first. Inner inner shadow too. Make it normal, not overlay. So just like that. Inner glow also, and I will do Satan also. Actually, make it normal. All right, all right, and actually, I think the text is done. I I hope I helped you. It's it's just a simple text, so yeah. Um, all right, and I think it would be the end of this video. I hope I helped you. Uh, as I said, there will be coming like th how to make custom 3D text soon. I don't know exactly when, but it will be coming soon. So yeah, uh, make sure to check out my store and make sure to check out my new pack that I made with Thomas. Uh, and yeah, I see you in the next video. Peace. And guys, 
uh, I have one last thing to say to you. I will leave uh, this header PSD in the description so you can finish it and make sure to send me send me it on Twitter when you finish it or maybe just tag me in your post and I will shout out it for sure so you can just finish the rest of the header uh, and yeah uh, now I see you in the next video. Peace.